guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome back to Pixelmon. This is episode 28, and in today's episode, I'm going to build something I wanted to build a long time ago. We are going to get started on a, uh, on a, what do you call it? Like a, like a board that has everything. It's like a gold board. I forgot what we used to call it. I did it in previous series. It's like a board, and we're going to put signs on it. It's going to have little, like, missions and challenges that we are going to achieve, which gives us something to always do in the series, and then gives you guys something, uh, to comment down below and give me some more ideas on. I've already got some of the basics down, uh, that I want to put on there, but, uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think we should put on. So, um, I'm going to get started on that. Should not take long at all. What am I pressing? Um, and then after that, I want to, uh, get to training Tortuga and Shield on a little bit. Uh, I do have a nickname for someone today. I'm not going to give away who it is yet. Uh, so you guys can all just stay in, in mystery and awe. Um, and then I think I want to just build my own house myself. Because we've done, like, what, six episodes or something just here. And, uh, and <laughs> just living outside. And I'm kind of getting sick of it. Um, it's take it's becoming too hard to organize someone to come and help me build a house. Uh, maybe in the future, um, once my house is already built, like today or next episode or whatever, um... I can just bring them on and they can fix up my house or something like that, just make it better. Uh, but for now, we're going to build our own house, is, is what I've decided. So, um, but we're going to get started on that notification board thingy. I forgot what, it, like a challenge board? I think we should go with challenge board, I like that. So, I think we should put it like probably over here somewhere, just like right here. Um, and then we'll go do a statue. We, we got a new NPC today, we got a new patron, which is awesome. Um, now, I think we're just going to make this out of wood. What sort of wood, I uh, do not know. Um... I think that, I think that looks probably good. Oh, can we use the stone bricks? Let me think. At all. Um, well, the way we used to do it is we made... Yeah, I like the way we used to do it. So, we made a... Uh, I need, I need wool. What we did is we put everything, um... We put all of the different signs on a red colored wool. And then when we accomplished it, we put green colored wool behind it, which is pretty cool. Now, we have a lot of green dye, I believe, from all of the cactus I won. And I just went and, like, gathered. Uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. It's all on me. Oh, and we have red dye as well. Perfect. Okay, so now we just need wool. Do we have any wool to begin with? Uh, yes. Awesome. And there's a bunch of red wool if we go to a Pokemon Center. So I'm going to put the... I'm going to make the green wool to start off with. So we have seven green wool. And then... Wait, do we already have any... Do we have, okay. I think we have red wool somewhere. I'm going to go to our old home and uh, see if we got some red wool. Um, if not, we'll just head to a Pokemon Center. Because I'm sure we have some, we have, I'm sure we have a Pokemon Center somewhere. Um, okay, if we just, if we just, you know, tell, oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, if we just teleport to, um, where would there be, I just need a Pokemon Center, like, in view. Oh, there's one. Okay, over there. Let's go this way. Um, but welcome, guys, to the next episode of Pixelmon. I'm having a lot of fun recording this. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the series. If you guys do, don't forget to slap a like down below in the, in the, in the, what do you call it? In the, well, I mean, on the YouTube thing is. I don't know what the words are. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, as I said, slap that like button. Likes make a massive difference and really, really help me out. Last few episodes, we've been slowing down a bit, so I would love to see that, um, just like get back to a really good, really good support. Um, I don't have any more words to say after that. I should have brought shears. Whoops. What is this? Poison barb. Ooh. Ooh. Um, by the way, I think some people are, are kind of curious. I'm still running Pixelmon 3.3.8. Uh, I think that's the one I'm running. Um, because 3.3.9 3 and 3.4. Uh, didn't really introduce anything. I mean, one, they didn't bring in any new Pokemon. And two, they didn't really fix any important bugs or bring anything really that important into the game. Um, and from what I was hearing, uh, they kind of brought their own bugs themselves. I decided to just keep this version. If Pokemon were added, I would deal with the bugs just to have the new Pokemon. But seeing as nothing has been added in the past, in the in those two uh, different... Oh, t I think oh, 12 is enough. I think 12 is enough. Can you change this by just putting new dye on it? No. Damn. Um, and then I think, what, you, how do you change it to white wool though? Because you can do that. Do you use bone meal? Is that, is that how it works? I don't even know. We can look it up in any eye. Um, so yeah, I think we've got a decent amount of building to do today, but I definitely want to bring Tortuga and Shield on up to at least like 20 plus, because I, I think that's pretty easy to do. Um, so let's head back to our new home. Um, and we'll set up the board. So, hmm, spruce wood, dark oak wood. I think dark oak would look good. And we have, that's the most we have, so. 
Um, let's just put a bunch of that in there. And we'll get started on the basic area. So, I don't know how this is going to change over time, because it's probably going to look really shitty to begin with, but could look better afterwards. I don't know, we'll see. Um, my axe is going to run out soon. And we also need diamonds. Like, I think we're really lacking in the diamonds area. So, I want to go... Oh, I actually had a plan. I wanted to... Right there, where you can see I've, like, knocked out a little doorway. I want to mine in, and then mine out a bit of, like, a room, sort of. Um, and then turn that into, like, a mining, like, shaft thing. So, like, we can go in there and then go mine and strip mine and whatever. I think that'd be pretty cool. I don't know. Um, but that also might be something I do off camera because I don't know that I would want to do all of that mining and, and whatnot on camera because it would waste a lot of time and it'd probably upset a decent amount of people because this is not a mining series, this is a Pixmon series. Alright, so this is pretty much how it's going to look like, although I do want to make it look somewhat prettier. See, this is why I need other people, other YouTubers to, like, come on and, like, tell me stuff because, like, I'm not good. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, uh, we could put, like, stairs and stuff to make it look even prettier. Maybe, uh, 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 stairs, okay, so if we go like this, oh god, oh god, what have I done, uh, uh, what have I done, okay, bam, that looks somewhat better, yeah, and then, I mean, can we go like this, yeah, I like that, that's actually pretty cool, alright, and then, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, Hmm, no, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe we should alternate the wood. Maybe we should use different sorts of wood. Or just spruce wood. I mean, that's pretty dark. Oak wood. Oh, we have, oh, we have birch wood, though. Ah, no, let's go with oak wood. Okay, what, where can we put oak wood? Like, on the sides or something? Like, just here? Oh, I don't know. Come on. I, I think we're going to settle with challenge board. I like that name. It's like, oh, the challenge board. Um, bam, bam, bam. Hmm, does that look weird? Oh, I don't know. Um, no, that's all right. Okay, and now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to put all of these here, I think. Yeah, all right, that works. <laughs> and um, and uh, just to show off the um, what, what I'm kind of going for, in case you guys, guys didn't uh, kind of get it. Um, so, we're going to put that green thing there. Now, I need a lot of signs. Do I already have signs somewhere? No, 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 no. We'll have sticks. I'm just going to take them. Um, uh, hey, whoa, I didn't throw you out. I tried to make you into sticks. What are you doing? All right, sticks. And then, um, hmm, doko, dirt oak. No, what am I saying? Dirt oak. One, two, blah, 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 blah. Uh, that should be enough for now. Do not want to waste too much wood because I kind of want to use it to build my house. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to do a different design that I normally do for my signs. I normally do like the equal sign. That's what I do for like all the uh, statues and whatnot. I think we're going to go with this and then this. Oh, no, wait, no, no, that wasn't it. What was it? No, I had some design that I... Oh, wait, no, it's this, 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 this. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Mm -hmm. And then we go... Um, catch a shiny and then we do the same thing uh, this is a little bit harder to patternize but it looks good look at that catch a shiny and see it's green because we already have ourselves a shiny if we go like this bam we but 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 the bam we have ourselves a shiny mm. So that one's that's why it's already ticked off. But like get a legendary, uh, like build a house, uh, build blah 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 blah. blah. You see, we can have all of these different things. So if you guys have an idea uh, for a challenge that we could put on the challenge board, do not hesitate to comment down below. Um, wait, what's the button to get rid of the map writer map? I don't even know. It's not a map. Uh, yeah, it is a map writer map. Um, um, uh. There we go, it's N. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do the same thing. I'm only going to do, I'm going to probably put the rest of the, ch oh no. Should I put the rest of the challenges off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them on uh, after the video. So we got uh, catch a legendary. And then did the same sort of design. The design's nice, it's just so annoying to do because I have to alternate between like shift and, and whatever. and. Anyway, so catch a legendary is up there, catch a shiny is done, and we're just going to try and get this whole board green, and then I guess we flip over into the other side, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's done. 
Uh, so yeah, again, if you guys have any challenges for us, um, leave them on in the comments down below. Leave as many comments as uh, leave as many you know comments thingies as you like. Put ten different points, ten different challenges. It's all good in the hood. Um, so we're gonna go and do our first statue because I think it's I think it's about time we do our first statue of the episode. Uh, if you guys aren't aware what this is, you guys are new to the series. Basically, every episode I uh, I erect a statue of a of a fan. Uh, generally two statues actually, and I'll explain the NPCs in a second. Um, but, uh, today we have two new statues to do, and we are running out of space, I'm gonna have to... Oh god, we're gonna have to figure out a new place to put statues, because all of these are done. These are all different fans. Um, oh, and I still haven't given you a sign. Why haven't I given you a sign? Who are you? Um, cat girl, I believe. Cat girl. Looking from my list, I'm assuming you're cat girl and you're not, uh, Lord Zephyr. Um, uh, here... Stan... Oh. Stands... Cat... Underscore girl, O3, and then we do the equals thingy. So yeah, if you guys want a, uh, uh, you guys want to be in the running, you guys want a chance to become a new statue. Uh, in next episode, don't forget to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username, um, also along with any of your challenges and and whatnot. Um, so today's first statue, congratulations to. Do, 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 that's my like drum roll. I don't know why I feel I need to have it. Anyway, uh, old underscore Greg, congratulations, sir. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Do I have any palettes on me? No, I do not. Uh, so to color them in, we need to create something called a palette, which uh, is just blue dye, which is, oh, well, we just need lapis, red dye, and green dye, and some wood. Now we have wood, we have a lot of red dye, we have a lot of green dye, um, but do we have the lapis? Because we might need to go mining for that. No, I, th I swear we made a bunch of palettes, like last episode. Did I did I not make as many as I thought I did? Oh, we have we have fossils here. We should be putting them in the fossil machine. What the what are you doing? Fossil. Um Yeah. Hmm. I thought I had more lapis than that. We can go check out our old home. I should definitely try and Yeah, let's start moving all of our old stuff over, because Yeah. Can I pick it all up? No, full inventory. Okay. Um that's fine. We can we can pick Oh, we have a diamond in here. Um and then this is all pick some money stuff. Um, so let's, that goes there. Oh, I don't even want this. I don't want this poisonous potato. Um, okay. That's TNT. I kind of want that. Oh, why did I send that aurum? No. Ooh. Um, can I pick anything up from here that I already have in my inventory? Nope. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, well, we can put the poisonous barb in here for now. And then there's just those flowers, which I don't really care about. So, <laughs> so um... We're nearly done with kind of removing this house. I just wanted to kind of get it out of the way, get it done with. Um, we did not find any lapis in there, I believe. No. So let's head back to our home. We're just going to th throw it all into a chest. And then I guess we have to go mining for it because I really need to be able to color in my statues. So we're going to put all of this in here or just as much as we can. Now, I think both of these, both of these, um, actually, I'll keep the signs on me. Signs. Okay. Well, did I throw any balls away or anything important like that? Oh, wait, I have 12... I'm so stupid. I, I can't, I, how did I not see these pallets? Oh my god. Okay, so we have 12 pallets on us already, and we have 12 signs on us, which is going to keep us good for like six episodes, so that's all good. And then six episodes from now, I'm going to be like, damn, I should have made more pallets and signs. Um, so anyway, we're going to head up here, we're going to color in uh, old Greg, and uh, and then we're also going to make uh, one of our new patron uh, NPCs. Oh wait, that's you, bam. And, uh, da -da -da, gotta do the signs, very important. Here stands old Greggy boy, and then we'll put this with this little thing in them. So pretty much, guys. Also, if you're new to the series, I am going to explain quickly why there is NPCs of some of my fans. So I have a Patreon page that I set up a little bit ago, um, just so I have some sort of uh, regular monthly income that um, that I can rely on uh, because I'm going to be moving out. I need to start be able to pay bills and and whatever. Um, and YouTube, as, as, as great as that is, and as uh, the money that I make from that, it's, it fluctuates all the time. It can go between, like, one number to another number, and I need to have something, something that's guaranteed so I can plan out how I'm gonna pay the bills and stuff like that. So I set up my Patreon page, and, uh, UQUU is, uh, one dollar a month supporter, which, and, by the way, the reward is if you, um, uh, pledge one dollar or more a month, um, you become an NPC in the series, and you'll always be an NPC in some series. So right now, to pick some on, if this series ends, you'll be the NPC in another series, da da da. Um, Tall Thank is a $5 supporter, 
And uh, where is he? Ryan Aromo, our first patron, is also a $1 supporter. So we have a new th a new supporter. And I'm going to put them under the $5 because that's how it is. But they've actually pledged $8 a month and put us over the milestone for we, we, of $15. Which I said, once we hit that milestone, I would... Uh, I would do guaranteed weekly streams, and I've already been streaming the past few days anyway, but yeah, there would be at least one stream every single week, which is awesome. Um, so, how do I how do I do this again? Oh, I left the NPC wand in my chest. Over this way. Um, oh, I want to go to sleep as well, I don't like when it's dark. So yeah, congratulations to Opera, Opera, Opera who uh, became... Our, our latest patron and also our largest patron but if you guys would like to become an NPC in the series it's only one dollar a month and would really really help me out go check out the patron patreon page in the uh, in the description below now NPC one grab that baby put this all there um, you're growing and we'll head back upstairs to our fan garden that's the official name by the way guys if you guys didn't catch it in the previous episodes fan garden I like it um, and then in my Feed the Beast uh, Infinity series, I have the same sort of thing, but I have the fan graveyard where you guys are all going to be like graveyards. Uh, in a graveyard, I mean. So we're going to put Opa over here, I believe. Now, I've already set up his skin. So Opa, um, title, um, $5 supporter, I think that's what it was. Um, uh, factions, we put $5 supporter in there. And then, um, uh, texture, no, select. Go back. Scroll down, Opera. That's his skin. Look how cool that is, and uh, and uh, that's it. There we go, Opera. Oh wait, no, we need to make him be able to walk around. So we go movement and then wandering. There we go. So now Opera can wander around with everyone else. We have four supporters. We have four NPCs. This is really awesome, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching and supporting the videos. And then special shout out to those who uh, support me on Patreon because you're helping me a lot in the real life. Um, by pledging money every month. It's it's actually really, really cool. Anyway, so you're nearly done, Anarith. Come on, we'll just wait till Anarith comes out and we'll, we'll put him in a ball. We'll put him in a, in a, in a moon ball, because I like the dusk ball. Bam. What? 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 I inserted a Pokeball. What are you talking about? You just took... Oh my god, just took my moon ball. Just took my moon ball. All right, well... Uh, okay, well, what did you do with my moon ball? Wow, all right. Um, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, no, I like our team at the moment. Once we train Tortuga or Shield on up a little bit more and we put him in the PC, we will uh, we'll bring in Anorith and we'll start training Anorith a bit. So I actually liked Tortuga. I did not think I would because it was, it was a Pokemon in a generation that I wasn't really too aware of, but I actually really liked Tortuga. Um, and that's why I've chosen Tortuga to be the Pokemon we renamed today. Oh! So if you guys gave me a rename for Tortuga, uh, you uh, could be one of the people that I choose. Um, but I'm not going to do that for a little bit. So we need to find somewhere. We need to find some sort of Pokemon to train. Um, Tortuga, Ponyta. I mean, any of these Pokemon is going to give it a decent amount of levels. I was kind of hoping that we could send it to like a high level Pokemon. But whatever. Um, Bubble Beam. There we go. Level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, buy to get rid of withdraw. Uh, let's head to the desert biome because I like the desert biome. Um, desert, 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 desert. Oh, I see a magma. Oh, and a camera opt. Oh yeah. Um, also put my exp share on Tortuga. So we're gonna train him up to like I don't know level twenty. Oh, a Flygon. Flygon always first because Flygon's probably like the rarest you'll find here. Um, Flygon, 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 Flyg, Flygon. Go on, flag on. Um, okay. Rico, I don't even know what I was saying then. Oh, don't. What did you. What? What'd you do? Don't you h run away from me? Sand tomb. Alright, hydro pump. No. Hydro pump. Yeah, there we go. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, I didn't even get to 19. Okay, get rid of it. Alright. Ooh, aqua jet. Water gun. Okay, it's just a faster version of water gun. Ancient power. Better version of rollout. Oh, you're getting a lot of moves. Awesome. Now, where was that camera? Oh, there it is. Camera out, I'm coming for you, baby. Baby, I'm coming for you, camera. Oh, I see you. Ooh. See, there's still Poke Loot in this desert. I swear I got in every Poke Loot in this desert, and there's still more. It's ridiculous. And um, Bubble Beam. And you're dead. 1920. Yeah, we got to level 20. All right, now let's train Shield on. And from there, we'll figure out how to do everything else. Okay, let's just check inside. Um, ba 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 ba. Doug Shrio. Doug Shrio will work. Come here. Doug Man. Dig, dig monster. Oh, you're in the level 26. All right, that's fine. Ooh, okay. I'm sending out Salamander. Didn't really mean to, but he'll do the job. And bam. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, and oh, and you got level two. All oh, right, because you still got EXP share on you. Uh, crunch, get rid of bite. It's just a better version of bite. Um, but the, oh no, wait, I put the EXP share on. What? How did Tortuga get a level then? Wait, I'm really confused now. Tortuga, Salamander, Shield on. What? How did Tortuga gain experience then? Is that some sort of glitch? I didn't even understand that. Wow. Alright, well it worked. I mean, it gained both of them levels, so if it's going to continue to happen, I, I'm not going to argue. Or maybe I- Oh, I sent out Tortuga. I sent out Tortuga. I didn't even realize that. Alright, I sent out Tortuga, and Shield on had the EXP share, so that tells the Shield on gained experience. But uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, what else we got? Yeah, little old dog trios. I mean, we could we could definitely take on these dog trios. I mean, not dog trios, diglets. Um, we'll take them on with Rico so we can finish them off real quick. Um, but I'm only pretty much doing this just so I can fill up my orb. Oh my god, they remove so fast though. It's so hard to hit. Okay, there we go. Bubble beam. And you over here. Yeah, so we, I'm still trying to fill up our orb. It's taking a very long time. But, um, you know, never give up, never surrender, right? What are we on? So we need 239 more Pokemon kills before we can get this done. Uh, I really need to do some off camera, but I just like don't have time. Like if I'm if I'm playing on here off camera, I may as well just be recording an episode. Takedowns, better version of tackle. There's just a lot of moves that are just better versions of another move that the Pokemon already has. You know, crunch better than tackle. I mean, crunch better than bite. Takedown better than tackle. It's pretty much the, they're doing the same action. You know, crunch and bite. They're just you know biting. And tackle and takedown, they're just like tackling them. Um, it's just a stronger term, I guess. Um, anyway, let's keep killing all these trap inches and diglets and numels. Um, oh, no, I don't want to catch you. I think I already have you. Um, there we go. Gaining a bunch of levels. Okay, shield on is level 17. Awesome. Can you get two EXP shares and then like share between three different Pokemon? Like, that'd be pretty cool. I don't even know if that works in Pixelmon. It might work. Because it is Pixel One. I don't think in Pokemon that works because I don't think it's possible to get more than. Oh, no, wait. Couldn't you put an EXP share? Couldn't you give it to a Pokemon and then trade it to someone? I don't know. These are these are all the Pokemon myths that I'm not really too aware of. Um, Diglett. No. Nope. Diglett! Ah, uh, Dugtrio! Ah, uh, come on. Someone come to me, please. And the, also, the other awesome thing I like about training in the desert is because there's desert hills here and it is the middle of the day, there is a chance of Mr. Groudon spawning for us, which would be pretty darn sweet, because the only legendary that spawned is the Suicune, which we didn't even manage to catch, so. Uh, Lava Star, come here. Lava Star, Lava Star, Lava Star, come here. Okay, there we go. One thing I would have liked is if the orb went up when you defeated trainer Pokemon, but it's only on wild Pokemon, which sucks. Because, I mean, it'd be pretty cool if you could knock out, like, six Pokemon in a row just from battling a trainer. Uh, Iron Defense, Metal Sound. Reduces the target special defense, raises your own defense. Mm, I think iron defense sounds cooler than metal sound. Like iron defense. You know, it sounds cooler. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Um, where are all the Pokemon's at? They all disappeared. I see a trap inch. Oh, I knocked my microphone. I see a trap inch over there, but it's too far away for me to actually be bothered doing anything. Uh, what time are we on anyway? Oh, we gotta end soon. Okay, I want to get to uh, shield shield on up a little bit more. And then we shall end. Um, ooh, what are you? What are you? Poliwhirl. Okay, you don't really belong in the desert biome. You're in the one little patch of non-desert biome. This is very interesting. Uh, Brian, whatever. Drill pack. I should just use drill pack. I would have killed it. Uh, level 20. I uh, see a Numel over there. We will kill you as well. And then I kind of want to linger around just until nighttime, just in case a ground on spawns. Like, we may as well. I mean, what, what's the sun at? Yeah, the sun's setting. Okay, so we only have a little bit more time. So I'm going to stick around here. We're going to keep doing a little bit more battles. Just in case a Groudon spawns. Because, I mean, that would just be the coolest thing in the world. And we really need another legendary to spawn. And it just hasn't been happening lately. I mean, I don't even remember what episode the Suicune was. It was like, maybe like 10 episodes ago or something like that. And we didn't even manage to catch it. I have 16 Ultra Balls on us now. Hopefully that's enough. You know, I should probably make more Ultra Balls. I should probably make like a stack of them. Um, I, I just gotten super lazy with that because we haven't caught many new Pokemon. The only new Pokemon we've had are a, um, our fossil Pokemon. But we dug for them. We didn't even, you know, really catch them. 
I mean, we did have to sacrifice a ball for them, but still, it's like, you know, we didn't we didn't really have to try. Um, so yeah, I should definitely make more ultra balls. So I'm gonna put probably put that on the challenge board to have 64 ultra balls or something like that, just so we can have a full stack there. So then whenever a legendary or a shiny comes our way, I mean the shiny graveler was like the easiest thing in the world to catch, it only took like two ultra balls or something. Um, but legendaries, they have a much different catch rate than a graveler, so Psyduck, Psyduck come here baby! Oh, there you are, bubble beam, dead, alright, so we've actually done a decent amount on our orb today. That's like, wait, what was the last time we checked? Oh god, it's all the way up here, okay, I don't even think, I think it was like in the 230s or something like that. And now we're down to nearly 200. So, the, where's the sun? Okay, the sun's setting. I don't see any right on spawning, unfortunately. Is there an ocean biome nearby? Because I kind of want a Kyogre then. <laughs> um, oh, I see another Graveler. This one is not shiny, which means it's not as special as our Graveler, but, you know, it's alright. It's not too bad. Uh, Brian, there we go. And that nature of, no, not nature, uh, that passive of his keeps him alive, and I hate it. It's the worst thing in the world. Um, Diglett, Brian. So we're doing a lot of good training. Shieldon's on level 23, so we'll now put it on Tortuga so he can gain some levels. But uh, yeah, we did some good training today, uh, Drill Peck. Wow, we're running out of PP on all of our moves. That's how many Pokemon we're just destroying. Um, yeah, really good training today. Two Pokemon trained up to level 20 something. Um, we built our challenge board. I think tomorrow I want to build our house. Um, so I'm going to put that on the challenge board as well. Um, getting a lot of our orb up. I think is really important. I mean, if we can knock out 30 Pokemon each episode, we can have, you know, we can have the orb filled up and ready to go for Articuno in like six or seven episodes, which is pretty awesome. Especially if I do some stuff off camera, it could be within two or three episodes. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty awesome. I think it's time. I mean, it's night time. We're running on like 26 minutes. I think that's probably time for me to wrap it up. Um, I'm kind of just addicted to keep battling and training and stuff like that. Um, oh, Hydro Pump then. Um, okay, I think that's our cue to leave. Tortuga's level 24, Shieldon's level 23. I think that's time. I'm going to end it. Oh, wait, I still need to make the last... Oh, I need to do two more things. Need to make the second statue, and I need to rename one of the Pokemon. So, uh, let's look here. So, Tortuga is... Let me see. Wait, where is it? Where did it show? Um, okay, so Tortuga is male, and someone commented down below two different names, whether they were male or female. So congratulations to Lane Sickinger, hopefully, hopefully I'm saying that right, and commented down below, Shelly for a female, or Snap for a male, and our Tortuga is indeed a male. So we got Snap the Tortuga, and uh, also, wait, I think I missed out on renaming a Pokemon last episode, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, it was the Espeon. Um, I was going to rename Espeon to congratulations to, I'm assuming you're watching because I see your comment at every single episode, so congratulations to Wubba G for commenting down the name Aura, which I think was pretty cool. So there's two nicknames in, in one episode, so I mean, you're welcome, people. Uh, let's get my shiny Graveler back and let's move our Anorith into here. Um, and then last but not least, the second statue of the day. So I have them written down here, it's going to take two seconds, wait, do we... We have our palette on us, we have a sign on us, easy peasy. It's all ready to go. And then I'm going to need to figure out some more space to put my statues, because we only have one more statue place left. Um, so congratulations to Oak Angel! Please be right, please- yeah, there we go, sculpt. And then we'll get this sign and stuff out. Oh, it's raining! Oh, good thing I'm wrapping up the episode. Oh, I like your skin. Um, so, here stands Mr. Oak Angel. Oak Angel, and then put the equals thingy. So thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to end the episode in the rain. It's kind of a uh, kind of romantic, kind of interesting, isn't it? So thank you guys so much. As I already <laughs> said, I guess. Um, don't forget to leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to leave a comment down below with your Minecraft username and your challenges for the challenge board. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page down below. Even if you don't think you can uh, pledge anything, just check out the rewards and the milestones. That they see, like, just read the entire thing that I wrote because it's very interesting. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe for more Pixelmon. Minecraft and all that goodness. Hello, Opa. What are you doing? And uh, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pixelmon Season Three. Bye.